Welcome to the Key Is Me channel where I am key, the key, but you also are the key, the key to unlock whatever it is you want in life and don't you ever forget it. After a transformative self-discovery journey in my 20s, I am now embracing life as a single woman in my 30s. This channel is all about celebrating self-love, finding purpose in a season of waiting, and living life to the fullest. Join me as I share everyday vlogs, self-care tips, solo adventures, and real conversations that empower us to thrive in our independence. Through this channel, I want to create a safe place where we can love ourselves, grow together, and explore the beauty of living life fully, just as we are. Hopefully after this video, you will subscribe for more because there will be so much more to come. Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. As y'all saw, I had a very, very slow morning this morning and I'm happy about it. I needed it, it was definitely something that I thoroughly enjoyed. Y'all saw, I made my avocado toast this morning. I actually meant to make a hash brown with it, but I didn't make a hash brown with it. My avocado was a little off this morning because it wasn't ripe and I tried to make it right by putting it in the microwave and it didn't work as well as I wanted it to. But other than that, still good. Um, I just went ahead and got dressed because I am about to run some errands. So I went ahead and just threw me this cute little denim top on with some cream linen pants that I have that go with the two-piece set that I got from Fashion Nova. And I'm wearing that today to run my errands. Pretty much a very slow, chill day. Um, how could I forget? This morning I did go to my cycling class. It was very good. My coach, Demetrius is always on fire like man sometimes I'll be wondering like sir how do you get this much energy at six o'clock in the morning like what tell me something I need to know he be on fire today's playlist was Drake and I love Drake so um, it was pretty pretty good I think I burned like 400 and 12 calories which is great I did 7.3 miles on the cycling bike a lot of lot of improvement and that's just one thing that we're getting to in this new series on my channel we are getting to our health our fitness journey you know being our higher selves elevating and doing the things that we need to do honestly and truly health as well and so that's definitely something that I'm focusing on in this season as I get older um, 
So, shout out to ClassPass. If you don't know about ClassPass, I was able to try out a lot of classes in Atlanta uh, for free with ClassPass. And then after I tried most of them, I then decided which classes I was going to sign up with the membership for. And so I'm doing Pilates. I cur Currently, I am doing Pilates. I'm doing cycling as well as boxing. So, and boxing is my number one. Like, baby, when I tell you, I be boop. It's fitness though, not fighting. <laughs> so, yes, girl. Um, I, that's what I've been doing for my weekly routine so far. Um... On those other days that I'm not going to my classes, I would typically go to the gym. I actually haven't been to the gym in like a week or two. So I've just been doing my classes those three days and then I need to start going to the gym again. But yeah, sis, so I'm going to go run my errands. Let me pick this up real quick so y'all can see me. Definitely going to do this bag today. I'm going to throw these sunnies on. This is kind of like a pink color. But I don't care what color blocking my Louis bag. And then I have like some um, cream, beige cream. One of the two flats that I'll put on with this. But yeah, this is my quick little outfit of the day to go run my errands. I have on my waist shaper because sis, the stomach, I don't understand what's going on. Like we got to get it under, under control. This is very realistic and authentic. Please excuse the dishes in the background. We're going to take care of that once I get home. I have to run and get some things done before they close early or before they get um, crowded. So that is the reason why I didn't stop to do the dishes as I got done cooking because I'm rushing to get out and get this done over with so I can come home and enjoy the rest of my day without the chaoticness of traffic and the flow of everything in Atlanta once it gets to a certain time. So yeah. <laughs> Super cute. I love this little gold vase right here. I'm not completely done with my living room space and there's still some other couple things that I want to pick up for the front area. So I was looking at this right here. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Maybe something like this to go on my bar area with, um, hold on with like a little green what do you call it like grass circle things i'll put it up on the screen because i don't even know what it's called but i'm thinking about getting something like this or should i go with something that is taller with more height i don't know but i'm definitely thinking gold is gonna be gold or neutral I don't know, decisions, decisions. All right, so here goes some neutrals. I don't really like anything over here. Oh wait, this is cute and different. Right down here. Oh, that base back there is cute. And I like this. I don't like the color of this because it looked pink, but I love the design on that super cute okay this is cute too but i really don't want any vases because i don't want to put anything inside of it like i already have the pompous in the dining room i don't want to overdo it at all i don't know if it's just me but baby i'd be scared to touch anything at home goods because it is glass shelving i'd be scared that once i touch one thing everything else is gonna fall so if I need something, I'm going to go get an associate because I am not going to be responsible <laughs> Man, for anything in this store. I also was just telling my friend that I don't know how I want to do my bedroom. Like as far as the theme, the decoration goes, like I've been stuck. And I'm thinking about hiring a interior decorator just because I want to go ahead and get that done. It's kind of like I got the rest of the house together. I got the vision of when it comes to my bedroom it's like i'm stuck i don't know we will see um what happens but yeah all i know for sure is that in my bedroom i want to i want a couple pictures of me on the wall my pictures that i took in paris 
for my birthday. They're really nice professional pictures next to the Eiffel Tower. Um, I want those in my room and then I'm thinking about putting the two lights above it. But other than that, with the rest of the decor, I'm not sure. And I have a gray bed, a gray king size bed and it's like pleated, but I'm not sure if, like which route I wanna take when it comes to decoration. I don't know, if y'all have any suggestions, let me know down in the comment section for sure. The front of the room is here, Zach, trust me and walk. We're just holding the plate. So make sure your toes are on that platform. Please lift it up with all of your shoulders. Slide that white line. We're sitting directly down on that right side. Weight stays in that right leg. Right the sweat is crazy. Oh, what a workout. That was good. Mm. I needed that for sure. Good morning, you guys. As you already saw, I just left my Pilates, Reform Pilates class. Let me take these socks off. I actually wish I would have left these socks in the car because we have to wear these, um, what do you call these? We have to wear these grip non-slip socks. And I like to just keep them in the car because we cannot work out without them. So for me, <laughs> keeping them in the car just works out perfectly unless I need to wash them. I'm tired, y'all. Like today, even my coach said it. She was like, are y'all sleeping? Like, y'all okay? Granted, I do go at six o'clock in the morning, but still, like, I don't know. Today, I took my pre-workout, and I'll show you which one that I used, but even my pre-workout didn't give me the energy that I was looking for. In general, though, this week, my energy has been really, really low. I don't know what's up with that. It might be my iron. I gotta get that checked out. But definitely about to have a slow morning. I've been stalking Amazon like a hawk because I ordered some gold shoes to go with this two-piece set that I want to wear this weekend. I'm actually going to a networking event here in Atlanta. It's going to be like a networking cocktail hour type of vibe at this new residence building i believe the showing is going to be of the penthouse apartment at this residential building and they said it's going to be like around the pool there's going to be a dj it's going to be a vibe i cannot wait i love finding stuff like that like those are one of my favorite thing finding those different networking events that i can rsvp to and actually go to because a lot of these events you have to be invited to so i mean if you don't get invited, you don't even find out about them until after people post about them. So that's me. I'm just trying to get show face and trying to get in the spaces, in the rooms where I can be invited to uh, these events. So super excited about that. I ordered these gold platform heels right here. I'll show y'all real quick. When I first ordered them, it said that they would be here today. And now they're saying it's going to be two days. For them to get here which which is a bummer but this is it right here my phone about to die but these are the gold heels and i'm gonna wear it with this two-piece set right here let me see if i can show y'all before my phone die this is what i want to wear just got this in from Fashion Over. Super cute. Capris are definitely making a comeback. Okay. I like to see it. So, yeah. That's the outfit that I want to wear. Gold accessory. Gold handbag, of course. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, it will be here. I saying that it's going to get here the day of the event by 10 p.m. The event is at 5 p.m. So, if it gets here, if it gets here late, then I'll just have to find something else to wear, which wouldn't be a problem. I just think for the vibe of what I was going for, I think 
in the vibe of the event i think that outfit is going to work perfectly i didn't want to wear like jeans or something like that so and i didn't want to wear black too like i feel like i'm always in black so i was trying to switch it up but anyways i'm gonna stop rambling i hope you guys are having a beautiful day i am about to put on a sermon and make me an acai bowl and kind of just take it slow and relax today one thing i can definitely so say though and single in your 30s like I be feeling sometimes I have to double check. Sometimes I have to check myself because it's like, girl, you have so much free time. Like, are you sure you're not supposed to be doing something else? And I just feel like that's the beauty of this entire being, of being able to just have your time freedom and just being able to do the things that you would like to do and have those slow mornings and be able to come into form with oneself, with my thoughts, with my meditation, um, with my prayer, with my prayers within the morning and journaling. Like I try to make it a beautiful experience um, every day, not every day, but for the majority of the week, that's typically how I am going out about my days. So yeah, y'all. I'm gonna stop rambling and let's get into this acai bowl because I, your girl is hungry. Like I worked up a sweat. Ooh, look at this sweatband, dripping. Oh, love to see it. Mm. This is good, y'all. Listen to this. Teach yourself. You don't understand how it affects your prayers, mm. your life, your movements, and because you don't understand the kingdom yet, you're like a person with an inheritance that don't know how to open it. Jesus. Wow. Hey, you want your little, your little soft sermon? No. Wake up. Mm. Pay attention. Mm. So in the first century AD, Jesus, this is good. Y'all gotta go watch this. I'm gonna post it down in the description box for y'all. He is too good. Mm. Oh, remember those shoes, those golf shoes that I was telling y'all about? Hold on. Tell me why Amazon sent me a message a few hours ago saying that the shoes are gonna be delayed till next week. Mind y'all, the shoes were supposed to be here yesterday. It was only supposed to be a one day shipping. They said it was in stock to be delivered the next day. Then when, and then when yesterday came, they said it still hadn't shipped. It was going to be delivered today uh, by 10 o'clock. So I was still kind of hopeful because typically I would say Amazon usually get here like around 5 p.m. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Like I can still wear the shoes. Then I got a message saying it's going to, going to be delivered next Tuesday. So I don't know, I might place a, a refund order. I might place a refund on the order because I wanted the shoes to wear it with that, with that particular outfit for this event. I don't know if I would like typically wear that outfit with those shoes. So I don't know. Um, I just know that I need to get me some comfortable gold shoes in general. I have gold shoes, but to be honest, they're like a put on, walk to a dinner table and sit down. Like not walking around, not mingling, not networking. Like, mm -mm. so yeah. Also hoping that when I get here, there is good parking. I do not want to Uber. I'm tired of Ubering, spending $15 there, $15 back, $30. Like I'm just hoping that there's going to be good parking. I know what area it's in, so kind of just wanting to be like one of the first people there so we can get good parking and I'll be good to go. So yeah, I'm about to finish my makeup real quick, put my clothes on so we can get up out of here.
treat you special like no one. Hey y'all, so for starters, as y'all can see, I don't have any nails on. It's crazy because when I got to the venue of the, well, of the apartment of where the event was, child, I ended up popping off two of my nails and I feel like that was so ghetto. If y'all don't know, I am a DIY girly right now trying to save as much money as possible. So <laughs> I wear press on nails and trying to put my shoes on in the car real quickly. I ended up uh, breaking a few of my nails, so I just went ahead and took them off. So, I just want to give a quick little recap of the event. It was a networking penthouse reveal. So, at this apartment building down in, what's the area? Edgewood area. It's a mid-rise, but they have four penthouses that are not occupied, and so they wanted to go ahead and do a reveal. I don't know if it was maybe new up upgrades or whatever the case may be but from my understanding the apartment building is not new girl so you saw already uh, some of the different penthouses that I showed you in the video and I'm doing skincare right now so um, that's what I'm about to get ready to do but it's just crazy because the pricing like one of them was maybe like four thousand maybe like forty five hundred another one was like fifty six hundred if I remember correctly but that one that was the biggest one. Again, this is a mid-rise apartment. The highest floor goes up to 12, so the penthouses are on the 12th floor. Mind you, I live in a high-rise building in a very good part of Atlanta, and we have 26 floors. And I'm like, to be on a 12th floor, to be in a penthouse, and to be paying $14,000 a month, for the biggest one that they had, it just, to me, it doesn't make any sense. I'm still trying to understand how did they get 14,000 for the price. The only upgrades that I feel like they had that's not in like a regular apartment that I've seen going on different tours around Atlanta is the fact that it had a fireplace. And it's like, if you're gonna give me a fireplace and then what, four bedrooms, four bathrooms for 14k it's like is does that even really make sense <laughs> the only upgrade that i feel like it had like it had regular stainless steel was nothing about it didn't have any type of wallpapering any type of other features um in the apartment besides the typical the balconies the bathrooms the walk-in closets those are typical features that you would get in a high-rise mid-rise apartment so I was just like, no wonder they can't get these things to sell because the price is outrageous. However, the views were gorgeous, gorgeous from floor to ceiling windows. It was a corner unit, so it wrapped all the way around. Another thing that I feel like they should probably, they should have taken into consideration when they were building it was the fact that if I'm in a penthouse and I'm paying $14,000 a month, now granted, that's for the biggest one, but even with the $5,000 one and the $4,000 one, if I'm in a penthouse, right, and I'm on the highest floor of my building, I should not be able to reach out and see my neighbors that are next door to me. I'm going to pop in a clip right here so y'all can see exactly what I'm talking about. Like, there is no privacy in this particular room soon as you look out the window your neighbors and all of them up against this particular section could see into your apartment and it's like uh, -uh. if i'm gonna be paying this much money a month in a penthouse it's supposed to be exclusive exclusive to me and my spouse or in my case just me because i'm living and single in my 30s but yeah, other than that, it was amazing just to see, like, you know, the different options and stuff that they have around Atlanta. It makes me now want to ask my apartment building if I can go up and see our penthouses um, because they're not even that much. <laughs> I don't think they're more than 10K, but we have an amazing view of um, the skyline and all of that, especially being that we have 26 floors. So, amazing networking event, though. Um, I was able to meet... Other people didn't really meet any content creators. Um, I only noticed one person that was there. Y'all may know her. Her name is Jayla Corian. That was the only content creator I saw that was there that I noticed. Um, everybody else was just maybe like within real estate. I met an interior decorator. I met somebody else that 
pretty much manage and own different bars around Atlanta. I met another woman that's in network marketing. She's kind of like high in rank in her company. Like I said, I've been wanting to, you know, go to different networking events just to meet different people, put my name in rooms that I really, not even necessarily say want to be in, but just to surround myself around like-minded individuals. I definitely want to go to a lot more content creator events, but it's just so exclusive with those. Like you have to be invited. And so far, the only company that has invited me is Pretty Little Thing. And that was last year. And they haven't done anything. They had another event at the end of last year, but I wasn't able to make it because I had just had surgery. And so since then, they haven't had any other events this year. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much the only name that I feel like has been in a bucket to where um, I have some type of, you know, pool, I guess anybody that know me so yeah child i'm about to get this skincare done i got some pr products from la roche posay and good molecules so um that's what we about to do we about to do some skincare and relax for the rest of tonight